about the universe and how do we know it? Where did the universe come from and where is it going? Did the universe have a beginning and if so, what happened before then? What is the nature of time? Will it ever come to an end? Recent breakthroughs in physics, made possible in part by fantastic new technologies, suggest answers to some of these long-standing questions. I went to hospital for tests, and was diagnosed with ALS, or motor neuron disease. Shortly after I came out of hospital, I dreamed that I was going to be executed. I suddenly realized there were a lot of worthwhile things I could do if I was reprieved. Stephen Hawking is a paradox embodied. Probably the ablest theoretical physicist since Einstein, he is confined to a wheelchair and unable to speak. A researcher in one of the most abstruse areas of science, he is the author of a record-breaking, best-selling book about it. As Star Trekkers know, Newton, Einstein, and Hawking had a poker game with Commander Data aboard the Starship Enterprise. Unfortunately, the game had to be abandoned at short notice because of a red alert, so Professor Hawking never collected his winnings. I communicate with a computer system in a box in the back of my wheelchair. This system was put together for me by David Mason of Cambridge Adaptive Communications. On the computer, I run a program called Equalizer. A cursor moves across the upper part of the screen. I can stop it by pressing a switch in my hand. In this way, I can select words which are printed on the lower part of the screen. When I have built up a sentence, I can send it to a speech synthesizer. I use a separate synthesizer made by Speech Plus, a division of Sendogram Communications Corporation. I can save what I write on disk. I write papers using a formatting program call tech. I can write equations in words, and the program translates them into symbols, and prints them out on paper, in the appropriate type. I can also give lectures. I write a lecture beforehand, and save it on disk. I can then send it to the speech synthesizer, a sentence at a time. It works quite well, and I can try out the lecture, and polish it before I give it. In a similar way, I can make a CD-ROM. But to do this, I need a... Einstein's connection with the politics of the nuclear bomb is well known. He signed the famous letter to President Franklin Roosevelt that persuaded the United States to take the idea seriously, and he engaged in post-war efforts to prevent nuclear war. Here is an example. A well-known scientist, some say it was Bertrand Russell, once... In order to talk about the nature of the universe, and to discuss questions such as whether it has a beginning or an end, you... explain something to you? Um, certainly. What? The 
theory of relativity. You have to imagine a man driving in a car at 30 miles an hour and a hitchhiker standing by the road waiting for a lift. <laughs> now, the car is traveling at 30 miles an hour and the man inside the car throws a stone at the hitchhiker at another 30 miles an hour. Now, he's a late pitcher. So the question is, if the car is going 30 miles an hour and the stone is going at another 30 miles an hour thrown in front of it, how many miles an hour is the stone going when it hits the hiker? Answer, 60 miles an hour. Right? Pretty straightforward. The car is driving along at 30 miles an hour and he's flashing his headlights at the hitchhiker to tell him to get the hell out of the road. Does the light travel at 100 and... 86,282 points. 397. 397 plus 30 miles an hour? Answer no. <laughs> Why? Because the speed of light is always the same. Mm. Right? Mm. Did you ever prove that hypothesis? <laughs> it's never been disproved. <sighs> Let's hope it never is. Our destination is Cygnus X-1, believed to be a black hole. You are navigating the Hawking craft. Feel free to explore. friends ask me, well, if a black hole is black, how can you see it? And I say, have you ever been to a ball? Have you ever watched the young men dressed in their black evening tuxedos and the girls in their white dresses whirling around, held in each other's arms, and the lights turned low, and all you can see is the girls? Well, the girl is the ordinary star, and the boy is the black hole. You can't see the black hole any more than you can see the boy, but the girl going around gives you convincing evidence there must be something We had this meeting at the Institute of Space Physics in New York. I said before we